Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and in today's lingo lesson, you're gonna get a twofer, and we're gonna talk about the pinch runner and the pinch hitter. So we'll start with the pinch runner, and both of these concepts are pretty similar, so this is gonna be a pretty quick episode. The pinch runner is somebody who comes on to replace a base runner while an inning is still in play. Usually this is gonna happen later on in a game, and it's typically going to be a much faster runner who comes on to replace perhaps a better hitter who has gotten onto base. Now, the idea behind this is that if you have a faster runner on base, they're more likely to either be able to successfully steal and put themselves into scoring position, or if another hit is made, they're going to be much faster and have a better opportunity to score when that opportunity arises. Basically, they're faster than the guy that hit the ball, and if you're in a pinch, and if you really want to score runs, especially late in a game, you want a guy who's got some speed. The reason it's done later in games as opposed to at the beginning is that once a pinch runner comes comes on to substitute for a base runner, that original player can no longer re-enter a game. So in the early stages of a game, you want the better hitter on there because he's more likely to present you opportunities for base runners or you know power hits. But later on in a game, it all kind of comes down to taking every opportunity you have available to you to score. So a faster base runner is going to be more likely to get home than perhaps a slower power hitter who can really knock those balls deep into the field. But you may not need him again in another inning. So having a speedy base runner on is far more beneficial to you than keeping that power bat in your lineup. Now, if we're looking at this in terms of play and in terms of perhaps game streaks, it's important also to note that a pinch runner does not get credited with a game played if they are actually in the midst of a streak of any kind. So they wouldn't actually get credited with continuing their streak had they been benched for most of that game. Pinch runners can also be used if the base runner runner has been injured in any way, perhaps they got onto base by a hit by pitch, uh, but they appear to be injured now that they've reached first base. This is an instance where you would see a pinch runner come on so that they were able to pull that particular player from the game so that he could be looked at and treated by one of the team's uh, medical staff. So a pinch hitter is fairly similar, except in the instance of a pinch hitter, this time your batter is being replaced before they actually come up to their at bat. So you're actually just pulling the guy out of the lineup and replacing him with another batter, again, usually later in the game. And this is either an opportunity for a player who was injured in a previous inning or an opportunity for a power hitter who may not have already been in the lineup to come in late in a game and get an opportunity to score a run. Similarly to a pinch runner, the pinch hitter would then come in and replace that existing player in the lineup, meaning that the player they've replaced can no longer come back into the game. Typically, if you're going to put a pinch hitter in, he's going to be a guy that can easily be slotted into actual outfield or infield play. Most of the time you're going to see an outfielder come in in that position or or at least somebody who can play one of those outfield positions rather than something like say a catcher because there are so few of those positional players available that if something were to happen to your catcher at that point you wouldn't necessarily have a backup so that's why you're more likely to see kind of a first baseman or an outfielder come in in those instances because they're easier to replace on the field than a shortstop or a catcher. In the case of the National League, you'll sometimes see a pinch hitter being used to replace the pitcher. And this is because in the National League, there is no designated hitter. And what'll happen is kind of towards the middle of the game or later in the game when the manager is ready to pull that starting pitcher, they'll substitute a pinch hitter in to take that pitcher's bat because pitchers are generally not the best hitters. So it's an opportunity for the manager to then substitute in a better hitter, perhaps only for that inning, to replace the batter in the lineup. And this can result in a double switch where they'll bring in that hitter just for that at bat or perhaps to score a run and then substitute in yet another player when it's time to replace that pinch hitter in the outfield or in an actual defensive position. So (laughs) there's a lot to be done there and perhaps I'm going to do a whole episode on double switches because that's a whole thing. Um, But just so that you're aware, it's very frequently used in the National League so that the manager has an opportunity to kind of substitute in a better batter in place of their pitcher. Now, this is actually interesting because in the case of the American League where there is a DH, if a pinch hitter replaces the designated hitter, they then must assume the designated hitter role. If the team chooses to put that player somewhere onto the field and not use the as a designated hitter, they then forfeit the right to have the designated hitter for the remainder of that game. So that 
that's an interesting kind of rule that is very specific to the American League and worth making note of in the case of a pinch hitter. So there you guys go, a two for one lingo lesson with pinch runner and pinch hitter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Remember to hit that subscribe button while you're down there and ring the bell if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And of course, remember you can always follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, guys, we'll see you again.